This is Griff Talk, hosted by Chris Chamorro, Pedro Viana, and myself, James Abudakar. We're three friends on a mission to travel the world and share our journey. Today, we're fortunate enough to interview Alex and Carla, the creative minds behind Portland Tips. Before we get started, remember to check out our website, straightgriff.com, and follow us on social media, at Straight Griff. Bon dia! Bon dia! Bon dia, Abu. Today we have Alex and Carla, <laughs> the creators of Portland Tips. Bon Welcome. dia! Bon dia! Bon dia! How, how are you guys doing today? Great, great. How are you guys doing? Doing good. We are doing amazing. It's going to be like 95 degrees today though, so I'm glad yeah. you guys came early. Yeah. Because this would be a hot room, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we did it later on in the day. Yeah, like Brazil, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, like Brazil. They are from Brazil and uh, both from Salvador, right? Yeah. Yeah. Born and raised. How long have you lived here in the States now? A year. It's been a year and four months. <laughs> a year and four months. And what do you guys what do you guys think? How do you like it? Okay, I watched. How do you say for me? I think so far so good, man. It's been it's been a lovely experience. The city has been treating us great and we love it. Each day we love it more and more. Awesome, awesome. And before we go too much further in into the episode here, it's going to be kind of a, a different take than what our listeners have maybe been used to before. Uh, we're going to include a little bit of Portuguese in this episode, so hopefully some of our Brazilian listeners, um, you guys like this. Uh, Chris, I know we're going to get, get some questions. Maybe if you want to kick off the yeah. first question in, in Portuguese, go, well, go at it. Well, since your guys' focus right now is Portland Tips, mm -hmm. What maybe was the biggest surprise about moving from a city like Salvador and, and Rio, you know, huge cities, to a comparatively much smaller city like Portland? I think the first <laughs> big difference is not having the ocean so yeah. in, in the city, you know, not having the beach nearby and just listening to the ocean. I think that's a huge difference, right? Mm -hmm. The but smell. We, the smell <laughs> of the ocean, the salt, you know. But we do have the river, so sometimes that can come handy. Yeah, <laughs> three, three months out of the year. Yeah, right. <laughs> but definitely, definitely having uh, the seasons defined, right? I think having all the seasons and having a strong uh, winter. Carla just saw snow for the first time. Oh, how was that? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah? It's like a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I love the snow. I, I really do. What, I what? like the winter. I love having the seasons like you're talking about. It's such a such a nice thing to have here in Oregon. Just you get all of the seasons, you get the fall, you get to see the leaves change. It's pretty beautiful. Yeah. Brazil is tropical. Um doesn't have like that. Doesn't change really the no, yeah. Yeah, it's either it's rain or at least in Bahia, oh, like most of Brazil, it's just either rains Almost or it's hot. Summer. Yeah, all the time. All the time. Yeah. It is but, beautiful <clears throat> as well. Oh yeah, yeah, just Ooh. differently. Yeah, yeah, just differently. It's very tropical. So and since it's so near to the equator, especially Salvador, you don't see any difference in like, as you said, in the leaves and everything. It's just pretty much the the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I remember the first time I saw snow. Uh, right when it was right when I moved here. And I thought, I don't know why I thought it was just going to be this fluffy, just like comforting thing. So I, I, <laughs> I got out of the train without a sh just like wearing a t-shirt and went to like go pick it up. And then I instantly like regretted it. I fucking hate it, <laughs> to be honest. So I'm weird. like, what, what? This is not what the, the cartoons made it look like to be. I don't know. That was just like my rationale at the moment. Um, no, uh, yeah, that was my uh, first encounter of snow when I was coming to Oregon. Well, I mean, you guys are from Brazil. My first encounter when I was a kid, I have a picture of it too. I was just, I was just like you, Pedro. I hated the snow. Really? There was a picture of me as a child crying in the snow. <laughs> oh. I have like three jackets on. I'm like, you know, two years old. And I'm just sitting there, like gloves on, crying. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's been the same way Ugh, ever since. I don't even remember this time. Actually, yeah, Chris is not. I do not like the cold. Yeah, he doesn't like going to the mountain. Snowboard doesn't like to. No. Doesn't let us take him anywhere cold. Won't go to Iceland with me. Well, I'm not that into snow either. Yeah. Because I don't know if you have to drive around or anything. I'm not that skilled yet. So yeah. I get, get you, get, you gotta get a jeep. <laughs> you gotta get a jeep like Abu's that way. Yeah, yeah. Or a Subaru, man. Or Subaru's Subaru, nice yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, Subaru's got me out a lot of jams. I have to say. <laughs> um, so uh, I had a question for you guys. I mean, how moving, having a transition for, from a, a big city, a big metropolis like Rio, because that's where you guys uh, were living before. <laughs> And then moving to Portland, uh, besides like the ocean, any sort of like cultural shocks or like cultural norms that you had to adapt to? Um, something that's did, like much different than than what you're accustomed to before? Maybe, I don't know. I mean, I personally, I think it's a lot quieter here and you can kind of like it's... hear yourself think, which is nice <laughs> at times. Uh, tipo, uh, como foi essa transição vindo do Rio? Até a Porsche, até a Porsche lá, né? A parte mais cultural, algumas diferenças que tinha tipo, choque cultural assim. Uhum. Muitos. O que, Muitos que você acha que mais, mais chamou a atenção? Ah, desde que a gente chegou aqui, a primeira coisa que a gente tenta focar sempre é o lado bom. Claro, né? É. E, e a gente vem em busca disso aqui. A gente vem em busca de uma, uma vida mais. com mais qualidade, com mais segurança. Uhum. Que, Pra mim, esse é, é, um, é um dos realmente. piores fatores que, é realmente, tipo, que influenciam a saída no Brasil, é a segurança. É, é. Você, é o que mais me incomoda no Brasil também é, é, a, falta, de é falta, de falta de segurança. O fato de você ter que trabalhar muito no Brasil pra ter o um mínimo uhum. incomoda, mas uhum. você consegue. É. Você estudar, tiver bom relacionamento, relacionamento entre pessoas tal, você consegue se desenvolver e trabalhar e ganhar dinheiro no Brasil. Mas a segurança mas a segura, não te permite é, tipo, viver. É. Hum. Chega uma hora tempo. que a segurança começa a te segurar. Eu, tipo, Xande é, trabalhava no Galeão, a gente morava em Copacabana. Uhum. E ele atravessava praticamente 20 a 30 minutos, duas vezes ao dia, em um lugar que é apelidado de faixa de Gaza, de tão perigoso que é. Ah. Ele atravessava a linha vermelha e pegava milhões de favelas no caminho. E várias vezes ele não pode sair do aeroporto porque estava tendo conflitos naquela área. Nossa, então, então o risco ah, de vida fechado. é enorme. E isso choca e uma hora meio que a gente não conseguia mais viver assim. Eu acho que... For me, I think that's huge, but for me also one thing that, that stands out is the sense of community that we have here in the mm -hmm. States. It's huge and the, the civility that people have, you know, and the sense of sharing and the sense of, of just, you know, just doing the good to, to, the, to, the, to your fellow mate and, and helping out as, yeah. as a whole. I think that's that's huge because unfortunately we don't have that spirit in Brazil. Mm -hmm. People are really uh, because of, of all the the, the 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 gaps and the differences between classes and financial differences, I think people just look for each other and their own and maybe they can go badly against someone else in order to, to keep their Their, their stuff still, you know, or just... Você precisa estar tá ganhando alguma coisa todo o tempo para você poder... E tem a famosa uhum. Lady Jackson, né? Outro, é um é. senso brasileiro de você estar tá sempre... É, farinha pouca, meu pirão primeiro, né? Você ah. sempre vai garantir o seu e de, uhum. é, depois se der pro próximo, pois, beleza. É, senão, é. foda-se, né? <risos> yeah, Fortunately, that's yeah. how we, we yeah. think, because it's a survival thing. Like more of yeah. like a doggy dog world. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's, yeah. it's just, yeah, kind of what he was explaining was, you know, it's like, you have to think about yourself first yeah. and then you can try and think about other people. I think that's a great point you guys brought up because... It's kind of a forgotten thing in the United States, I feel like, the kind of sense of your neighbor and your neighborhood, and you, you know, if you see someone that, you know, needs help, you stop. You know, someone on the side of the road, people are stopping to help out, ask, hey, what do you need? But, that well, definitely, but we're pretty good here in Portland compared, I mean... Well, yeah, Portland is, I think... I think more, even more. Yeah, it, but it, no, rural, rural areas are probably the most prevalent oh, you yeah, see yeah. that, you know? Yeah. You know, outside of the big city, you yeah. see that a lot more in these the small, small towns, towns where people know each other and... 
Well, yeah, I mean, there there are still towns, in, because you live in a big city, you know, and you're like, oh, there's a million people that live here. There's cities in the United States that still have a thousand or less people that live in a town together, and they do everything together, they work, and I think that's the sense of it. Because I feel like in Brazil, too, I've been, you know, to Andaraí, which is a small, mm-hmm. you know, town outside of Salvador. You know, it's more in the interior of Bahia. And I feel like there is a sense of neighbor there a lot Definitely. more well, yeah, in, in Salvador, Because right? it's really small and because in the countryside, yeah. all that, that yeah. contributes to it. Definitely. But, mm-hmm. I, but I just don't think you get that type of community at least in my experience in Brazil, like let's say you get a city of a million people in Bahia, you're not gonna, you, it's it's gonna be completely different. Oh, like Feta, like Feta like is. is. Yeah. Feta no, Feta it's probably is worse like, than Salvador almost. Oh, yeah, it, so. is. Yeah. it is. That's, yeah. that's for sure like me, 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 me. Mm-hmm. Screw I mean like people, uh, they're, <laughs> if you know, if you know someone, then you can help them, yeah. but no one goes out of their way to help someone, to they, help don't someone they don't know. Yeah. So, and, and again, getting back to Carla's point, when you 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 you, fe- you fear for your own sake, mm-hmm. you know, it's tough to you help. You want to take a risk and stop to help someone else yeah. because sometimes there it's going to be a threat. No, and deixar uma coisa clara: o Rio de Janeiro é enorme, muita gente vive lá. Uhum. Tipo, essa é a minha opinião, é como eu vi a vida. Amigos nossos talvez não sintam, não sofram o um impacto como eu sofri. É, é porque é sempre mais ouvido, né? É, uhum. é, 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 é bem tranquilo é. e talvez não pensem nisso, mas eu não consegui. Mas... Yeah, uh, what's the population of Rio? Like 15 million? No. Não, menos disso. Man. No, the entire, I'm sorry, like the so entire metropolitan. Assim, so, um me, yeah, metropolitan. I would say Rio probably has 8 million. Yeah. Okay, in the city area? Porque São Paulo, porque São Paulo é melhor população. São Paulo oh, yeah, probably that's, that's has 20 around million. 20 million São yeah. Paulo. And porque São Paulo é quase 4 ou 5, 4 ou 5 é do mundo, uh-huh. eu acho. Porque Nova York tem o, o Cidade no Índia. Tem essa cidade no Índia. Cidade do México. Mumbai? A cidade do México é a maior. Cidade do México é a maior. Porque tem quase 40, sei lá. Aí depois é Tóquio. É, São Paulo é... É. So, Rio de Janeiro, IBGE, 2017, 6.5 million. Yeah, 6.5 million. So yeah, that's that's a dead city park because Rio is very kind of compact. Yeah, because yeah. it's because you have the mountains kind of like dividing a lot of like different spots. So yeah. it just like when when you look at it, it's not that big of a city. Fuck. Isn't Salvador bigger I as far as size? I don't agree with you guys. I think I think Rio might be even bigger than Salvador. Oh no, yeah, really? really? Yeah. What you guys think? Are, you guys Colorado. are picturing just Zona Sul of Rio. Yeah, that's what it's, it's inside the the mountains. Then. After Maracanã and everything, yeah, the whole oh, yeah. massive, it's a yeah. huge favela. Well, that's a good thing to for our listeners here too, because you only really ever see, yeah. even when you go visit, you only see like oh, yeah. the Maracanã. Yeah, they just fly you in like yeah. right on that side. Just whoop. You, yeah. you just see what you want to see, pretty much. Exactly. What you're yeah. Looking for. <laughs> yeah. And then, that's how yeah, goes. and the majority of tourists just stay on the southern, the southern side type of or the southern side of the city. Yeah. The so, south zone. Yeah. So we went we went to ba- we yeah, we went to a club north of Baja and it was like 35 minutes away, like way up in the mountains. It was like an old abandoned uh, like it's warehouse. Insane. Oh yeah, it's insane. I know it's, yeah. it's, it was like it's, middle, middle. it's an old factory. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No worries, that it got that. Tra- it got it, it got remodeled into a club, like yeah, in the middle yeah. of the forest, like yeah. super cool. It is awesome. Thousands of fucking people. They throw great pro- parties over there. Man, so we got tra- we got trampled. Well, I didn't get trampled. They got trampled. On the way, on the way. Literally, yeah. people like were pushing, and like ten of us fell over. Oh no! And yeah. people just kept going. We go all, all into detail about it in one of our older podcasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was insane. It was crazy. We still had a good time though. Yeah. Well, Tommy didn't. Tommy I did didn't save the glasses though. You can yeah. hear about that story. Tommy didn't have a good time, but yeah. Basically, we go. Not that difficult to adapt to. No. Uma e... cidade como essa, a gente buscou isso, uma cidade pequena. Ou menor, não é pequena, não é pequena. E o fato de não ter sol? 
Não tem sol. Não. Tipo, aqui, aqui às é vezes a gente passa duas semanas é um sem ver. Sem ver o sol. Porque, tipo, chove pra caramba, né? Que não é aquela chuva forte, mas. Mas chove, fica ah, cinza. É fica cinza pra caramba, né? I'm just asking them about like the lack of sunshine here uh, yeah. coming from a place where it's sunny. Yeah. All I mean, the time. Yeah, I, I can speak on that. Sunshine right now. I can speak on that. I mean, you guys can tell. I'm. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> what is no? Hey, uh, hey me too, man. My, my nickname in my neighborhood is Casper, the friendly guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it has to be because I, I am the white kid in the black neighborhood. That's, that's how I was raised in Amaralina in Salvador, oh, yeah, yeah. which is a black neighborhood. It, it, it was a great experience growing up uh -huh. with that uh, cultural mix and, and that experience and just playing the streets, playing soccer in the streets and just uh -huh. being in the beach and everything. But getting back to my point, <laughs> I am white as snow. I, I always try to, to be black. I always <laughs> try to, I always thought that if I got enough uh, sun, I will become at least darker, but it never did. And <laughs> I just gave up on it. My dermatologist told me that I should never get sun again. <laughs> Just based on, on, on my past experience of trying to get black, so yeah. uh, moving here, it's it's actually good, and not getting that that much sun, it's it's actually good for me, I guess. Okay. Isso não me incomoda muito, ainda. Não sei, eu não falo mais sobre o futuro, então. Uh -huh. Tão distante, uh -huh. mas por enquanto não me incomoda. É... As pessoas talvez não lembrem mais, o Rio de Janeiro chove bastante também. Ah, é. Chove muito. No e Brasil, chove, chove muito. Chove muito. Chove uma chuva é. pesada. Uma é. chuva tropical, realmente é uma tempestade, né? E uma coisa que nós estávamos falando também, e, e aí é... que, que contribui positiv positivamente a favor da chuva, é que a cidade, a cidade é, é preparada, tem estrutura aqui. A chuva uhum. não incomoda. No Brasil, sujeira, lixo, em é. jogado na rua, alaga, tudo, tudo chove. Alaga, The, the, re the relation with, with the rain itself is different, mm -hmm. so I think it's a lot easier to... Yeah, because you get those heavy... Yeah, you get those heavy, <laughs> heavy downpours yeah, in and Brazil. Then, and then, especially in Salvador, man, when it when it rains like it does there in... When, yeah, well, during day. the World Cup, it, yeah. it rained for like an hour and a half nonstop, I mean, pouring. But it was like, and, dude, almost like hail. Like, how big the water was. Mm, like, like it, it's, it's hard yeah. to breathe sometimes, like depending on how, how heavy the rain is. I can is. imagine, man. And if like the there's certain parts of the city where like the sewage system can't handle it, mm -hmm. oh, and it just the water just starts parts, going, yeah. Parts, like especially like he'll be yeah. like those uh, the parts like near the beach, yeah. it just starts to flood. In it, Rio is the same. Oh really? Oh okay. yeah. the same. I yeah. Pilates. Yeah. Questão de uma hora, quando hum. eu saí do Pilates, Copacabana estava toda alagada. E juro, a água hum. batia no meu joelho. Oh. Eu deixei uma garota atravessar primeiro, que eu falei, se ela, vai, se ela conseguir, eu consigo. Hum. Quando ela conseguiu, eu fui, perdi minhas havaianas. And you see people getting dragged by the rain sometimes. Yeah. Pulled away by the rain. Dude, imagine walking around Copacabana with rain, like... Here. Here, oh, shit, to, like, you're just saying up to your up to your knees. Oh, wow. you know? uh, current, 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 yeah. current. Uh, uh, you'll you'll be go. Go. Here's you'll be okay. Like, you know? It's a it's a slow like downpour like all day long. It's not like heavy rainfall. Every now and then we get heavy rainfall, but for the most part, it's just this slow sprinkle. You don't even need just an umbrella. Oh yeah, you don't need an umbrella. Yeah. yeah, that's how you tell when someone's a, a tourist in airport. <laughs> yeah. Don't they have an umbrella? We learned that. Yeah. <laughs> Before moving here, right? <laughs> Californians. <laughs> uh. You guys run Portland Tips. What gave you the idea to, to start up Portland In Tips? Or Portuguese? What you, you well, mean, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Both, yeah. We have people who can uh. translate for you. When we thought about moving to Portland, we had to do pesquisas in English and I didn't... Não, eu mal não falava ia, inglês. Eu não falava não, inglês nenhum, é. mal conseguia ler inglês. E aí eu comecei a pesquisar e eu não encontrava nada em português. <risos> tipo, coisas é. mínimas, rápidas de pessoas que passaram três dias em Portland, uhum. tipo, fizeram Califórnia, Washington uhum. e passaram três dias em Portland é. e foram embora. Então era aquela coisa básica: é, voodoo, é, downtown, bem resumido. E eu queria é. mais sobre a cidade que eu ia morrer. É. E eu não encontrava muito. E aí, claro, eu comecei a ir pro inglês e traduzir para poder uhum. conhecer mais. E comecei a seguir pessoas aqui também. E aí veio a ideia. Falei, 
como não tem nada sobre Portland em português, eu vou criar um Instagram uhum. e vou compartilhar todas as dicas, tudo que eu vivi em Portland em, em português para as pessoas que quiserem vir aqui conhecer esse lugar que é maravilhoso. Uhum. E terem dicas de uma pessoa como elas, brasileira, que fala português e tá uhum. aqui vivendo. Aí, bring up, I'll, I'll translate. Yeah, I can translate that one. Um, just because I, I understood everything that time. Sometimes it's a little bit tough. But Good job, it's good. Um, basically, what she was saying is, you know, there's a lot of Brazilians that do come and travel, but they're traveling to California and Washington. They stop in Portland for three days, and they just see basic stuff, voodoo, downtown. And she wanted to find something where you had a broader view of what Portland is. And also, and she wanted, insider tips, right? And Obviously. yeah, insider yeah. tips, exactly. Stuff that, you know, you could make in Portuguese for Brazilians that do travel here. And so that's a great really great idea that you had it's original and uh, I think it's really helpful because Portland does have a growing community of Brazilians it does and it's yeah. been increasing right over the past yeah. years it's yeah it's increasing a lot and Portland's becoming like well known like I go back to Brazil and I like I live in quasi, Portland quasi and everyone's Seattle, like oh quasi it's San Francisco I'm like they're like oh is that that city with like uh, the alternative lifestyle and all the breweries and marijuana is legal I'm like yeah and I'm like oh the city's standing out for yeah, sure yeah, okay, that's how we found out about the city you know one thing that that attracted us here I'm sorry to cut you off no no, no you're good you're one, good. one thing that attracted us here also is uh, being able to bike around it's mm -hmm. it, I think if I'm not mistaken it's still the, the, the city that has the, the, the longest bike paths or the, the, the mm -hmm. I don't know how you call it but uh, right the yeah, I know it's one of the most bike friendly I think, cities. Yeah. Yeah, definitely yeah, in the US. I mean when you go US. if you go to Europe obviously yeah. it's on the next but still, level. We're talking about Amsterdam and a few Yeah, good, yeah few like more than many though. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Portland is great. But also, one thing that I would like to add about Portland tips, uh, besides that, besides the, the the background, it's it's also a way for us to discover the city, mm -hmm. to find things mm. that we we're interested in, yeah. and sharing that with people. It's a way to help people that are moving here. Mm -hmm. We get we get contacted by a lot of people that are moving yeah. here or think Each about moving more. here, wow. and yeah, and just increases. And also, I think, at least for me, another main thing is that we chose to live in Portland, or as we say, Portland chose us mm -hmm. to live here mm -hmm. and, and invited us to be, to, to be here with all its features. And uh, it's also a way for us to share the love that we feel and, and all the interest that we find here in the city, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> in Portuguese. Uh, impressionante a quantidade de gente que tem aumentado procurando, pedindo informações sobre portos brasileiros. Uhum. E, e o Porto Antipes, o, o legal é porque eu mostro também o, o além do que todo mundo já sabe sobre a cidade. Uhum. E aí as pessoas ficam encantadas, tipo, nossa, não sabia que tinha isso aí, uhum. não sabia que era assim. E cada dia mais aumenta a quantidade de gente procurando dicas sobre a cidade uhum. e compartilhando e participando. E eu ia falar alguma outra coisa, mas eu fugiu eu esqueci, também. Fugiu. <risos> Não, é bom pra. Ah, eu lembrei. Oh, Basicamente, o, o principal do Porno Tips é que a gente só posta coisas que a gente é, experimenta, uhum. que a gente Boa. vive. Uh -huh. é, eu sei de lugares que eu sei que são bons, eu poderia dar dica até aquele lugar, mas eu nunca fui, então uhum. eu prefiro não falar ainda até eu ir. Uh -huh. Então tem muito lugar para <risos> lugar, <risos> pra a gente tem uma lista para visitar. Uh -huh. Porque a gente sabe que tem que... A gente quer dar a nossa opinião sobre uh -huh. o que não, é, é, falam. É bom também para americanos que não sabem muito de Portland Sim. também. Ah, porque tem tradução no uh -huh. Instagram também. E quando pessoas visitam a Portland, só vê o, o Instagram de vocês... Nosso maior público hoje em dia é de 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Eddie. Their uh, <laughs> their biggest followers are actually like people in Portland. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're like yeah. Americans. So well. well, yeah, I mean, for me, I just, you know, it's nice that Instagram has the ability for you to just click see translation. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. Otherwise, right. it makes it really hard. I and mean, that's, that's how I like when I look at your guys' content, that's how I interact with it myself. Is yeah. I just, hey, I just do <laughs> see translation and it and it works. It works pretty well. And so it's, it's, it's cool. I think you guys are doing really great stuff. You're sharing a lot of, oh, for those so. people out there, go check out there. It's at Portland Tips on Instagram. And you guys have a blog too. That's, uh, there's Port- also a website. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. theportlandtips.com. <laughs> Yeah, which right. is uh, a little more update, right? <laughs> so it's an update, but you know, I, I mean, it still has you know oh, that great thing. Hey, but you, you guys know. own, you know, the biggest part of that, you guys own actual URL portlandtips.com. That domain, yeah, yeah. that is awesome. Yeah. We did register that, yeah. and, and, and and good funny thing to say that uh, we're not that focused <coughs> on on the website itself right now. It is a future project. Mas você pode explicar? Eu não consigo focar muito no no site ainda porque o site ele requer muito mais detalhes. Mm-hmm. E eu quero informar todos esses detalhes. Uh, e e yeah. eu comecei a trabalhar e aí faltou um pouco de tempo, na verdade, mas agora eu já comecei a atualizar. Eu é. tô com it is, dois posts. It is pra, part of the project. But it's a long term project. Yeah. Instagram so meets our main. It's mine. The main is ours. And then the Instagram is the main focus right now. And as you guys said, it's easy because you can translate it. Mm-hmm. And also, I think it's the, it's the best platform that's been mm-hmm. out so far because you can share images and one image can, you know, say a lot of things and, and, and more express a lot and, and, and send a, a huge message without saying anything. So I think that that just by itself, it's mm-hmm. great. Exactly. It is awesome. It's awesome. What? So what right now are some of the, the tools that you're using? Are you just simply using your phone to do this and that's that's it? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, th- it, for people out there, there's a lot of people who think, oh, they need to go buy all of this crazy equipment. They need to have this. They need to have that. They need to have this cool camera. They need to have a computer to do this editing. You don't. I'm you just, sorry. I don't have a facial. <laughs> <laughs> you just need... Yeah. It's not now, right? But yeah. in, in getting back to, to the first thing we said about community, that's the thing that, that plays a big part as well because, and again, research about the city and everything, Carla made some friends online and Instagram as well. Yeah. So there are some people that we were following before moving here, some photographers, some people that do already share stuff about Portland and we do uh, share stuff from other people, right? So there are some really cool pictures, professional pictures that uh, that other people take and we do give credit to them and everything but besides that most of the content's been done on her cell phone. I did it as, uh, yeah, I did as Cypol things. Mm-hmm. Uh, I changed my phone for a, one better. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. upgraded. I think, yeah, I think I'll... What are you Very using cool. right now? Uh-huh. What, what phone is that right now? Is that the iPhone, iPhone 8? 8? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it has a great camera on mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Great pictures. I know. I'm just looking at these pictures. Yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah, they have beautiful... Profe- I mean, they're pictures. professional photos. And you guys are doing a great job. And like you're talking about, the creation, the sense of community. That's, That's what you're doing. You guys are really creating this sense of community, mm-hmm. with especially the like with the, the Brazilian community in, in Portland and sharing that. I think it's it's great. And that's I think that helps the success of the page. I think just posting content, having cool things, it's cool, but it's not going to really engage people into it. And so you guys are doing a, a great job. What are, what are some of the... The struggles that you guys are having. I know everybody's right now complaining and bitching about Instagram's algorithms and all of that stuff. Are you are you having some struggles yourself that you're having to fight through with the social media? I think we're having technical issues so far, right? I think the the, the, the biggest issue might be the lack of time. What do you mean struggles? Struggles, difficulties. Things that might be hard for you, things that you notice Barriers. like uh, you're not gaining as many followers as you'd like, or you're not just con- you're not even concerning yourself oh, with that. That's always stuff. a challenge, right? Gaining more and more followers because. For me now, uh-huh. it's just writing English. Writing uh, English? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, so much. that's your biggest challenge yeah. right now. I huh? like um, talk more in English. You are learning. Because some you know, people. Are studying. Uh, you speak really well. I mean, for being I here a year, know. from a year ago, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's got a lot better. Right? Right? Seriously, you guys met her. Yeah, yeah. Quando eu conheço você é a primeira vez. 
Você acha que não... Não falava, falava nada. Não falava é. nada. Eu acho. That's good. Yeah, just, I mean, you gotta practice. Like, you just gotta... It doesn't matter if you sound like... Sound like an idiot. If you make mistakes, that's how you're gonna learn. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, so... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so... Yeah, so like, you know, you gotta just keep trying. You don't mess up, someone will correct you, yeah. and you'll know next time. It's and then, good. And also was... here, it's very good people, very friendly. Yeah, people yeah. are all very patient. I, yeah, when I said, I'm from Brazil, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I yeah. want to talk to you even more yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. so good, better yeah. than me. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Portland. <laughs> Portland's the land that treats like foreigners. immigrants and foreigners a lot better than California. I mean, that's for crazy. sure. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> but just don't go outside of Portland. It's like it's like literally there's a line that you cross. It's like the Portland it's like, metropolitan. Yeah, the Portland <laughs> metropolitan. You cross that line and it's like, oh, I am oh, you're not. From I am not in Kansas City. <laughs> Are you from Brazil? Oh my god, that's great. I'm from California. Oh, what are you doing here? Go back. Yeah. <laughs> but, but. Do you guys have uh, some future ideas that you're trying to take Portland tips? Are you like you're thinking about maybe doing some videos or some more guides or? Tem os roteiros que a gente vai começar a desenvolver. Hum? Hum? Roteiros. Ah, você está aqui, aqui no Oregon ou em Portland? No Oregon. Acho que no Oregon a gente começou a just bravo water. Oh, yeah. uh, like for for specific for like uh, people in like Salvador or people in Brazil people or in general, general people coming in general. here doesn't matter where from because oh, okay. the the thing is we can do in three languages because I I am trilingual. Carla is bilingual now, mm -hmm. so we can do in Portuguese, Spanish, and English. So yeah. it doesn't matter really the, where from and yeah, design to whatever. People are looking for, and that's mm -hmm. that's a great thing. That's yeah. one thing we like about Portland is that you can find pretty much everything you're looking for. Yeah. Muita gente não sabe, mas tem muita coisa aqui. Yeah. Então as pessoas chegam aqui e ficam perdidas ou fazem mais do mesmo que na verdade elas não querem ver aquilo. Which is, ver aquilo. Scene, tipo, ah, which is not the best part of the time. E aí a gente pode fazer um roteiro focado no que a pessoa gosta, no que a pessoa quer de verdade. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, that's mm -hmm. one project. Like like trips. The, The website itself, it's it's part of the the, the longest run. Yeah, to, that's to get that updated and have more content because yeah. as it is right now, it's just a it's just a landmark. It's there, and yeah. but we are we're still growing it. I know. Shout out to our content manager. Abu. Abu Grandão over here. <laughs> Shout out to Abu. He goes, <laughs> under, him, right? he goes under appreciated, man. Yeah. You know, it's, <laughs> it's like we're Pedro and I are really lucky to have him as a as a partner on this one. So, you know, it's it's fun to hear like your guys' kind of struggles and they're not huge struggles to overcome. But no, falar no, inglês no. não é muito 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 difícil não. And again, uh, we so don't have the, the auto translation. Yeah, yeah. right. So uh, again, that's no, not 2018. a huge barrier. Vai ser yeah. o próximo podcast sobre uh, <laughs> como aprender uma língua nova. <laughs> <laughs> não é difícil não, não é difícil mas não é. Tem que se dedicar e você tem que estar você... tá dentro daquele. Uh, dentro daquele mundo. Uh, uh, é isso você até mim, pode falar também né, Cris? When you are living the culture, being the society, it's, that's the way to so learn a new, a new yeah. medium, right? A new language. Well, and I, I want to learn, and you want to learn. So I think that's because sometimes there are people that they say they want to learn, right? No, but I mean, if, if the person it's but you have there. to be immersed. Yeah, no, being immersed is you yeah. want to learn definitely because you're there. You have to, yeah. You have to communicate. You have yeah. to get around. You have to. You're forced. Yeah, you're forced. Have to survive, yeah, exactly. you're forced you know. So I got one more kind of question focusing on this stuff, this topic here. Is the any any tips that you have for anybody that's been thinking about doing something like this? that may want to start up, what, what would you recommend to them? What would you recommend them? I, I, <laughs> I, 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 mean, this one, I mean, this one is based on you. Yeah. Pode yeah. falar em português também. Ah, yeah, claro. Maybe something you wish you knew in the beginning that you know now, or just, you know... I think, I think you're always going to be learning new stuff, because new stuff will be coming up. But I think, as anything else in life, I think loving what you're doing, it's, it's, the, it's what pay, pays at the end and what plays the, the big part, right? Yeah. Just love what you're doing. Quer fazer a pergunta em português? Do your best. É, tipo... Mano, ele... Praticamente respondeu, né? É, 
Se você for fazer isso de novo, ou se você conhece alguém que quer fazer algo parecido, tipo, alguma coisa que você aprendeu... Uma sugestão... É, alguma, né? é, se alguma coisa que você aprendeu depois, que você não, não faria no começo... Ou, ou talvez alguma resposta mais técnica, né? É, 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 só o Instagram, tipo... por exemplo. Alguma parte chata, tipo, pô, deveria ter feito isso um pouco diferente. Ah, eu, eu acho que tenho mais uma com ideia. relação ao site mesmo. Não, mas eu, eu tenho uma eu ideia. Eu um post no site e me arrependo um pouco disso, de acumulei muita coisa. Hum. Mas isso. Mas aí, mas aí depois fica legal que você tem, tipo. <risos> Sei lá, muita informação, né? Aí você, você pode colocar tudo depois, tudo direitinho, pode, tudo certinho. Pode. Então vai ajudar bastante gente que quiser conhecer a cidade. Eu tenho uma sugestão de uma coisa que eu lembro que você falou, que era criar uma conta se é corporativa, que aí você consegue ter os analytics, né? Se você tiver uma conta pessoal. Ah, sim, o Instagram já é Isso é uma é coisa assim. simples, né? É. Mas que muita gente pode não saber que existem os dois tipos de contas. Não, é, perfis, isso é muito né? importante. Se você... Eu acho que se você quer, quer desenvolver um, um Instagram, um trabalho como esse, eu acho que você, no primeiro momento, já tem que começar com um corporativo para ter acesso ao público, ao, ao, a quem vai... Quem tá te seguindo ali? A informação, né? Porque você, você consegue essa informação. conversar com aquela pessoa, você não fica perdido, né? Você hum. sabe do que a gente tipo, tá falando. Agora... Sim, sim. Que, que nem o nosso Street Griff. É. Tipo, a gente tem. So, uh, more or less with like a, a corporate account, where you can track all your analytics, where all your followers, like. Yeah. So you can keep maintain. So you know, like, where to kind of. Yeah. Provide the content that your followers want. Yeah, so you're recommending that you go on and set up that business account you in your Instagram, yeah. which is completely free that you can do. Exactly. It allows you to see where your audience is. It allows you to see what time of day they're looking at your content, and that will really help you know where you need to focus on and the people that, yeah. that the demographic you need to focus on, yeah. the time of day you need to be posting your content. So, that, yeah, that is a great tip. That's okay. It's completely free to do. All you need to do is make sure that you set up a Facebook page and link that up to the Instagram business account and you get a just slew of analytics. Yeah. Sobre a tradução em inglês é uma coisa, hoje eu vejo que muita gente de Porto não me segue, eu tento escrever de uma forma limpa que a pessoa traduza e fique claro para ela em inglês. Uh -huh. E geralmente eu escrevo e depois eu traduzo e leio em inglês para ver se tá claro, se não tem nenhuma palavra que diga outra coisa. Uh -huh. e, e aí eu comecei a escrever de uma forma mais limpa em português uh -huh. para facilitar a tradução. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. So, Carla brought up that you have to write it like in the perfect format. So, the English no slang, the, 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 yeah, there's yeah. no slang, you can't write like also in Portuguese, yeah, not just English, but in Portuguese you mind and that English. translating too. It's it's uh, give Google yeah. an easier yeah, chance, yeah, to give chance to translate. Yeah. Google <laughs> does not work with those the, the slang words very yeah, well at I all. Just say the right. <laughs> <laughs> No, but that is a good point because you wouldn't really think about it because, you know, your content too, if you're putting out English content, but you want everybody in the world to read it, you have to write it really, really clean. Mm -hmm. And so it works for any language, not just Portuguese, not just English, but any language. Any language. If you want someone outside of even your own city because there's so much different slang throughout. I mean, there's different slang from Salvador to Rio. Mm -hmm. There's different slang mm -hmm. from Portland to San Antonio. So it's it's really important to keep that in mind, and that's a great. I wouldn't have even thought of that to bring up. There's different yeah. slang within Oregon itself. Exactly. Even yeah. like I just thought something that I never thought of. You yeah. know, and that's such a great point, and that's something Please. that we'll even take down. Right, clean. Yeah. Because yeah. people translate today, and then. Keep it simple. That's that's simple. Simple. É uma função ótima do Instagram. Uh -huh. Tornou, sei lá o. Comunicação mundial mesmo. Todo yeah. mundo só apertar o dedinho ali, translator. E eu acho que quando nós começamos, não tinha essa função, porque nós começamos a escrever em ambos os portugueses e em inglês. Oh, yeah, it's an improvement. No, that's awesome. The ability that you guys have to, to have three languages is, is cool. You can maximize on that. I, I think the one of the things that you guys, you guys should look into, that, the way that could be cool, is have you ever thought about trying to like do tours for people here in, in Oregon? Like people that are... that. 
they don't speak English. They come because I don't. I don't know when no, I, that's a, when that's I travel to that's a good idea, like when I went to Japan. I went to a, a Studio Ghibli museum, and everything there is in Japanese. Like I, I can't understand anything. But I had a tour guide who was bilingual. She spoke Japanese and English, and it made that trip. If I didn't have that, it would have. I would have walked through this museum that was. I, I had the tattoos all on my arm, but I would have. I wouldn't have felt as immersed in it. And um, having the ability for somebody to to translate to me that just made it amazing. And I. I don't know of any like tours here. I, again, I've never looked for, but I, I don't know. Just think, just a thought, just a thought that came to my mind as yeah. you guys were talking about what you're doing. I so. think, yeah, <laughs> all right. The team will grow and opportunities will, will show up as it grows, definitely. Because, for example, we can. I I know about a, a, a tour here just in the breweries, and we'll take people in the breweries. Yeah. So maybe some people will come here just to visit the breweries, but in Portuguese and exactly. You know, so yeah. Yeah, because definitely one thing you don't miss about Salvador is going to be beer. Oh, yeah. Uh, People do love beer in Brazil, best, right? This so. is the best beer, too. <laughs> best beer city in the world. Does Portland, it? Oregon. Yeah. But when you bring out a good point, I mean, what uh, what's your guys' favorite brewery? Do you have a favorite one? Or maybe your favorite coffee shop. Well, that's a so Yeah, tea house, you. coffee shop. Oh, my gosh. Favorito. Uh, that's hard. It is hard to say. Because Portland is also a great yeah. coffee, coffee, coffee and beer. beer. And so we'll do a little group the, one. I have to try many places. Still, yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. yeah, there's one like every corner. Yeah. <laughs> so far, um, I like to do cafe do the Stamp Town. Mm. Uh, Stumptown is yeah is no, really good. Well. It's um, it's famous. Yeah. Pete's is also good. Pete's, Pete's coffee. Pete's coffee. Oh, Pete's, Pete's uh, coffee. Pete's, Pete's coffee. Uh huh. I like it too. You said you San Francisco. Nossa, gente, tem uma lista, né? Oh, it's muito difícil. Porque os dois foi lá no Seattle um do Starbucks e o outro do Pete's. Ah. Ele mudou para San Francisco. Ah, o, é que ele o, o, é, porque eu trabalho por, por um, trabalhava. trabalhava um lugar de Pete's. Ah, cool. Foi o, o. Não o ref, não, mas o. O assistente yeah. do, do uh, yeah. uh, So Alex, what's your favorite brewery then? Uh, it's hard to say, man. So many good breweries, but I have a few favorites. And one thing that I, I discovered here, it's sour beer. I do love sour beer. Oh, sour yeah. beer. oh man. It's a sour beer thing. is the whole yeah. thing. It's not just a Polish no, thing, no. man. It's, it's, it's spreading out. Yeah. And so I do like Cascade. Okay. Uh, I think it's called Cascade the Barrel House. Barrel House. Uh -huh. That place is awesome. Uh, the, the, the brewmaster is awesome. But I do like... Ecliptic, I do like. Ecliptic, right? Ecliptic, Ecliptic is a classic good. one. We do like. You guys uh, can walk to Ecliptic. Great too. Notion, we can. Yeah. 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 Great Notion, it's, it's another amazing. favorite. Oh, yeah. Food and drink. Food and uh -huh. drink. Uh -huh. That's true. Uh, that's so many good. Ah, I need to share something that is very. I don't know if it's in the rest of the United States, but here in Portland, it's very famous. Bubble. Oh, Bubble Tea? Ah, Bubble Tea. Bubble Tea. Ah, oh. Oh. Amo! E a primeira vez experimentei aqui. Uhum. E foi um dos primeiros Instagrams que eu comecei a seguir aqui em Porto no uhum. T-Bar. Ah, ah, ok. Ah, eu vi, eu vi. What, what, what's the name? T-Bar. 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 Like, yeah, the Instagram page that they uh -huh. go over teas and things like that. You know that? that, yeah. that bubble yeah. tea place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen you guys share it before. Yeah. And I, yeah. I've never been there, but I've seen you... Sh you guys sometimes share some It's really good desserts. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey. So do we. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Speak, speaking of, of food, uh, we are going to Peru. You guys were in Lima, right? Oh yeah, we went to Lima, we went to Machu Picchu. The best place. We went to Cusco, <laughs> and I, I even I even like Cusco better than, than Lima, right? That's what I've yeah. heard. Yeah. Did, what, tell us about the food. Good for food. Yeah? Yeah. So you guys did, did you do some food tours? Uh, we did, we did. Do you have recommendations for us? We're going to be going. Yeah, we're going to Madrid. Oh, yeah, yeah. We definitely want to be doing a food tour. So there are this. There's a a couple, like a couple of chefs, a married couple. That they're, they're both chefs, right? And they're famous. Uh, what's the name of them again? Uh, Maido. No, not Maido, but the the, the couple. Uh, uh, Gastoni. 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 Gastoni Astrid. Gastoni Astrid. 
they're they're huge over there. So they have Gaston on the street, I think it's the name of their place, but they do have a burger place in Cusco called Papachos, which was awesome. Papachos. Yeah, you can get like alpaca burgers. Oh no what? way! Oh, yeah, uh-huh. and you can get some. Different stuff. They got a lot of alpaca there, right? Yeah. Was, uh, did we have the alpaca? I think we did just to try it, right? I I, I don't remember. Uh, I, I think, think we did. No. I think we did. <laughs> I think it was kind of heavy, but it was good. How was yeah. um, dealing with the altitude in, in Cusco? It was hard. Oh my I, gosh. I surfed yeah. first and she was kind of laughing Super at me. <laughs> she was laughing and it was the other way around and it hit her and she was like, oh man, I feel bad. I think it, uh, but I think a medicine. It, that's but thing. you need one day uh, in Portugal uh-huh. to acclimate. Precisa right. de um dia realmente para descansar, dormir e fazer pouco esforço. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. Don't drink Porque alcohol the first day. Não consegue. Você, eu fiquei muito enjoada. Don't altitude drink. Gera, I mean, I did, I did drink. Gera uma dor aqui atrás da altitude. Só que ah. parece que vai explodir ah. no primeiro momento. So people say don't don't have. E você don't fica eat. muito enjoado e muito cansado. Don't eat beef. Don't have alcohol. Com a drink light a lot of no water. primeiro dia. Uh, for the first day. For the first day. Okay. No segundo dia você começa a tomar remédio no primeiro mm-hmm. momento do How? dia. Just, but take the medicine. De, yeah, take the medicine. The, the, coca, the coca leaves, coca leaves right? You know that doesn't help. A no. Lot. I, I, we good. took the. It's not good. I, I, no, I, I drank the tea. It doesn't taste good. No, it does help a little. But I think the medicine that That's they sell in the, the pharmacies there, they already know. So you just step in the first pharmacy the, you see and say, Hey, green, I need the Green Book Kit. Yeah. Yeah. Green Book Kit. Yeah. 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 They will know. So you spend a, I don't know, five bucks and it'll be fine for the rest of the trip. It's totally worth it, man. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. Awesome. Awesome. follow. Ó, oh, cadê a altitude? Eu pensei que eu ia passar mal, ia ficar, não ia conseguir fazer nada. Ah, bobagem, vamos nessa. E aí a gente foi conhecendo a cidade. Tinha uma ladeira que não era ladeira, era uma inclinação. Eu parei no meio pra respirar. Eu não conseguia chegar no final. O que que tá acontecendo comigo? Uma coisa tá errada. It's a, it's a magical place, besides, besides the, that feeling. It's a magical place. It's pretty, it has a lot of culture. A principal dica é não vá para Machu Picchu no primeiro dia. Oh, yeah. Deixa oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, visit, visit the rest. Don't go to Machu Picchu on the first day when you get to Cusco. So we're lucky because we get it. How many days? We have a couple before. days. It's before. like two or three days. Yeah. Two or three until we go to Machu Picchu. Are you yeah. flying to Lima? And yeah. then from there you go to, to Cusco, Cusco yeah. to Cusco, to Agos Calientes and all that. Well, we're doing a, we're doing a jungle trek. Jungle trek. Yeah. Ooh, so, so it's, it's like three, four days? It's a four day jungle trek. You're going to take like, us up in the mountain. We're going to do mountain biking. We're going to do zip lining. We're gonna so we're going to be camping trains. there, huh? No, it's going to be staying at like hostels in the in Along the, the way. Yeah. No Mas camping. What about near? There's a cidade legal de Cusco, uh, Agos Calientes. A gente uh, fez algumas. Yeah, they, the only like huge recommendation I have is build a local for mosquitoes. And oh, yeah, you said that before. Oh, yeah. Terrible yeah. really? there. Really? Especially really? Aguas Calientes. Well, I don't know mosquito. how it is. É um monstro. Yeah. <laughs> Ele não te pica. Ele te tira o um pedaço. Yeah, you probably need like a blood. Ele but... ficou com a perna que não era um caroço. Eram bolinhas de sangue quando você passava o dedo assim. Uh... Gente, o que é isso? Like worse, so worse than Brazil, huh? Oh yeah. Worse yeah. than Chapada? I'll say worse than Chapada. What? Wow. Worse than Ilha de Taparica, worse than everything. I, 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 like, I, I, I think I think Andaraí has the, it's just like no. internal mosquito. Like in the Philippines, there's Andaraí was pretty bad. Dude, Andaraí is the war I think God so. my Tom that's, got eaten. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Not we can share a bunch of stuff yeah. with you guys. There's a lot going on there. Well, there's craft beer as well in Peru. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 I've heard a lot of There's beer. a lot of good places to eat. We had our probably our best meal of, of our lives over mm-hmm. there in a Japanese place. So we'll share. Oh, guys. definitely yeah. let, it, let me know. Oh, yeah, let us yeah. know. Let us know. Send us the itinerary. Yeah, because what's the cuisine where it's like the Japanese mixed with Peruvian? Uh, it's like a fusion there's between a, Peruvian a, and Japanese. Yeah, there was a huge immigration, I, and I don't know the exact history behind it, but there, there was a huge uh, Japanese immigration to Peru, right? mm-hmm. and also the coast is, is big there, so they do have a lot of seafood and good seafood. So that's awesome. Yeah, well, what about uh, Japanese spots? What about Machu Picchu itself? What do you guys think? Eu chorei assim que eu vi. Wow, verdade? Porque ele, ele eu falo para todo mundo, ele é perfeitamente feito. Quando você chega que para o ônibus 
pra atravessar pro lugar que tem a vista, do Machu Picchu mesmo, ele tem tipo um portalzinho, assim. Uhum. E aí você atravessa aquele portal, quando você atravessa, você tá de cara com aquela imensidão. E as montanhas, elas são meio que simétricas. Sei lá, eu chorei na hora. Uau, wow, she got emotional. And really? Yeah. 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 I didn't cry, but she saw it. Teared up, it was that uh -huh. amazing. Wow. It is a huge energy. And also, yeah, one thing you're gonna notice is that when you get there, the, the climb changes so easily. It changes like every five minutes, it changes, and so it starts raining, and then all of a sudden, the wow. things are like a oh, huge sunshine. Wow. Then it changes again. Wow. I didn't it's know that. High, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's different. Man. It has its own clouds because yes. it's so high, right? Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. And one, one thing that people usually don't know is that actually the Machu Picchu mountain is not the one that people usually go to, right? You have the. Oh, three. Huh? I think it's three. There are three mountains. different mountains, yeah. right? Ayana, Ayana Michu, Ayana Michu, okay. Machu Picchu, and then the main one, right? I so remember we, the name. So we didn't go up uh, Machu Picchu, really. We went to the... To the other ones. To yeah. the where main the one, is? where the city oh, okay. is and everything. Oh, okay. And then we Ayana Michu, Ayana Michu é which is a huge alto. one, yeah, yeah. Tem it's the highest point, it's the highest peak, yeah. Mm -hmm. e, e ele é meio... Uh, I'm just being it's, dangerous. It's dangerous. Uh, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, same. So I'm not, yeah, I don't like height. So, and also, I'm not your meter, I guess, is, uh, is for the. the well, I'm good with height. I'm good with height. They, yeah. have, they have those, um, they have like, it's almost like a hostel that's on the side of the mountain where you can stay in these pods that's on the oh, yeah. Yeah. side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so on the way to Aguas Calentes, right? Okay. There's, a, there's, a, there's a hotel for climbers where you can only reach. Climbing, right? And then there's like a like some nass hanging on on top of the cliff. But that's Ooh, that's where you sleep, where you have your breakfast. It's famous. I One of I don't know if they're like six star hotel or something. It's like many stars hotel. It's like a that's that's place. Place. <laughs> But yeah, if, if you guys are going, which I think you are, to Machu Picchu, uh, decide where you're going because that will define the different packages, the different tickets you buy mm -hmm. for 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 the the place. And also another tip I have is that you take the the time it the, to because the crystal train right the crystal roofing train, oh, train yeah. because then you can see better from the train when going to my oh but you guys oh actually right, do the on jungle, our way yeah. down yeah. we're gonna take through, the train through. down you yeah. gotta take the train drop down I don't know if we get to choose though what train it is if no do, I think we'll I think that's it. I think that's it check it out because it might be worth it because it's pretty Ok, so we're, a gente tá indo em agosto, okay. que é o mês que, que, pelo menos, que estamos falando, né? Que chove menos. Não, não. É, e é no final do, do na, da, daquele pico de turista e tal. Ah, legal. Então, espero, espero. Com certeza vai estar tá bom. Né? <risos> não. Muita gente acha que é bom ir no verão, e não é. No verão chove muito. Hum. Não era? Aham. Uh -huh. Talvez, bom, talvez Lima vai estar um pouco... De... Mas Lima não chove também, né? Lima, acho que não chove Yeah, because Lima, uh, Lima is in a desert, surrounded by desert. I believe so. Yeah, it's, it's like on the coast. Of, yeah, it's uh, a, I, I thought it was supposed também. to be like... Lima não é linda. Ah, no, no litoral. Lima é uma capital sul-americana. Como toda. Tem a parte boa. Normal. Tem a parte muito boa. É uma selva, é um jungle. É um jungle. How is traffic in Lima? Is it okay? It was okay, it wasn't that bad. Not that bad, no. It's not like major cities in Brazil. <laughs> so, <laughs> eating, is the eating is the thing to do in Lima. Eating is the oh, yeah, thing to do in Lima. You go to Lima, you eat as much as you can. Because I think we're going to go do. to enjoy. Yeah, we're going to do the food tour, I think. You guys awesome. did like something like that, right? We did. We did. Ah. We went to a few few places there. Yeah. Uma dica rapidinho de Lima é compre as lembranças em Lima. Porque Machu Picchu e Cusco é tudo muito caro. And you can buy the same things? In yeah, Lima? Oh, okay, 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 okay. The same. manufacturing. <laughs> okay, okay. In China. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So we've talked a lot about, you know, places, you know, that you guys liked in Portland and then just, you know, your experiences in Peru and living in Salvador. If I were to give you a ticket right now, anywhere in the world, for both of you, where would you go? Now, for the next plan. Nosso próximo plano, mas 
It's I always a hard question. Fair. Yeah, it's always a it's hard, always question. hard question. Yeah. I love this question. The question is asking. different. We can hey, answer no, both I, questions, but yeah. the question is where would the, would be the place to go now? Like to visit? Yeah, to visit. Anywhere. Yeah, anywhere, anywhere to visit. Passa a férias. Qual, qual cidade? I think I know. País, at least for myself. País. Qual? I think I want to go to Hawaii. Yeah, um, I would go to Hawaii because now it's too. really close by, but it's always been far away for us. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and I've been in different. I've been I've been around a little. I have traveled a lot, and uh, and I always been into surfing. So I think I will go to. Hawaii. Oh, that's awesome! There you go. That's awesome. Great surfing, yeah. Hawaii. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm probably not gonna be surfing anymore, but <laughs> 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 at least I'll be visiting and seeing all the yeah, yeah. lessons from the duel. He'll, yeah. he'll, 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 he'll I, I, I can't surf, surf people. still, but yeah, yeah, yeah you can, you can water, just, you know, you can <laughs> boogie board and stuff, you know, and do just, you know, smaller. I can turn my best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, you, you don't have to go. Beach. I went out there and I could barely get on top of the board, man, yeah. but I still had a blast. Yeah, you don't have to be yeah. Kelly Slater, man. No, no, no. I used to surf. I just, yeah, so rusty. That's the only surfer I know. I'm sorry. I know there's other ones. It's so hard, man. It surfing is. is not easy. Uh, I know. You watch it and you're like, oh yeah, surfing, cool. But then you go out and you try to do it. Like you have to, you have to go with the wave just right. You have to speed. You're swimming. There's so and many things involved in all the balance. Oh, and you always wear a shirt, otherwise your nipples are gonna be on fire. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. It sucks, dude. It's been on the smooth thing. There's so many things involved. Surfing is hard. Yeah. yeah. But Hawaii, that'd be great. Mas eu acho que Havaí, a gente ainda consigo ir por agora. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, right. so Japan. Japan. Yeah, Japan. Japan. Yeah, Japan. Yeah, Japan. Yeah, Japan. 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 Definitely go if you guys haven't been. Japan. Japan. I think it's gonna be mind blowing. Okay. 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 Japan. Oh, Korea. No, curious. No, curious. 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 Yeah. Eu acho que ah, não sei. Eu tenho, vou ter a impressão de eu vou estar pousando no futuro, mais uh. ou menos assim. Yeah, yeah, uh, it is. It is a mind. Yeah, when you when you go to Asia, like you jump forward and <laughs> yeah. Everybody <laughs> that like, tells oh, me though that <laughs> I've been to Japan. They say if you love Japan, you want to go to Korea. They say that uh, that's South what Brian Korea said. Is amazing. They Korea say, is yeah. Americanized, so it's probably like in that's between, right? exactly. They say it's like Japan but more Americanized. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's probably just easier to get around. Yeah. For Americans, at least, yeah. 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 But Japan was mind blowing. You guys should I definitely bet. go. Yeah. Yeah. And Hawaii is a beautiful place, too. I like I've Hawaii. never been to Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii or Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Me, too, but Hawaii, it's not near. Here. Yeah, it's a lot closer than it used to be, for sure. Para mim, eu sinto que é possível. Japão, acho que é mais planejamento. Hawaii, você pode ir. But Hawaii is pretty expensive. Um it's an island, Hawaii. you know. Everything has to be imported there. Yeah, but but, but the, the packages, the tickets, packages you are you get. Uh, you can get some good deals, right? You yeah. can find some good because they want you to go. Right. Everything is based on travel to Hawaii. Just recently, there was like round trip to Hawaii. Hawaii for like 200 something days. Oh, that's it? Yeah, like oh, wow, two, okay. 289. It's I just like point. Vegas. They yeah. Everything is based off of the people that come in, tourists. True. So the they don't, Yeah. they have to have you there to make money. True. So they, they can pay or they can take a, a pay cut on the travel there because everything else is so expensive that they'll make money either way. Hmm. I mean, I was talking to a guy the other day and he said an hour flight on a helicopter just around Kauai is $300 a person. It's an hour. It's like the same price as the flight to get to Yeah, Hawaii it's the same yeah, price, yeah, price to get there. Yeah. That's insane. That's insane. Mas agora a gente tem até planos de ir pra... Nós estamos querendo na Europa. Na Europa. Hum, qual? Só três dias, conhecemos países. Ele conhece praticamente yeah, he, a Europa toda. You, you, you lived in my favorite country, so. Spain. I Spain, Spain. Spain so far yeah. is my favorite country I've oh, been really? to. Yeah, I love Eu Spain. It is an awesome place. It is an awesome place. I spent a year there. And I travel around because Europe is so close by. Yeah. The tickets are already cheap, so you can get really good I, deals there. Yeah, I, I bought a ticket from Palma to Barcelona for $15. Oh, well, yeah, I bought a ticket $15. once there for a cent and I just paid the, the taxes. <laughs> and the Imagine that. Anyway, you can sleep on air, airports as well, so yeah. it's, a different, it's a different cultural thing. Mm -hmm. So people just. Uh, spend the night on. Yeah, no uh, bothers you. Yeah, the the Ryanair airports and those like. Yeah, the shitty. Yeah, <laughs> it's like outside. Yeah, what's outside the city? Yeah. Just, just as a hub to go somewhere else. 
Yeah. But getting back to, to Chris' question and changing the approach a little bit, I think if you would offer Carla a ticket that she would take at any point, I think at it's a point. ticket to New York City. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I never refuse. I yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. I need to go. You haven't been there? No, I haven't either. Sure. I haven't either. You got either. Go, man. You got I look up. For me, it's like a dream. Yeah. Because, um, eu assisti a muitos filmes em Nova York, uhum. muitos seriados, e aí a primeira vez que eu, parei, que eu cheguei em Nova York eu falei, meu Deus, entrei na TV. Uhum. Loucura, tudo era um sonho. E é um lugar que eu não moraria, uhum. porque é muita loucura. É muito grande muito e eu acho que se eu morar lá vai perder esse encanto pra mim. That, yeah, ah, that's, eu that, quero... <laughs> that's how I feel about, like, for real. Uh, so, she's just kind of going over, like, she loved New York City so much. Like, she's, uh, it's a place she's seen so many movies and yeah. TV shows about. She got there, it's just beautiful, like, oh, not this amazing place yeah. where she's always dreamed of going. It is beautiful. But she, it is would, beautiful. she wouldn't live as there. As far as the city is concerned. But right. she wouldn't want to live there because it's so hectic and, and busy. Yeah. Yeah, and that's how I feel about Rio. Like, I get to Rio, I'm like, the city is amazing, but I never want to live in Rio. Just <laughs> in a few days. And yeah, 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 just get out. You know, and it's funny, too, I've talked about it. I love... Salvador better than I like Rio. Actually, yeah, really? yeah. yeah. It's all about the experience you have, about the people you meet, and what yeah. you do. I I'd rather love, live I in Salvador love, than Rio. I really love Rio de Janeiro. Uh, for it me, all depends on what you're looking for. It's the best place in the world. Yeah. Mas tem os seus problemas. Ah, tem problemas. Se não fosse so, certos problemas, toda a cidade tem problemas. Rio de oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's got its problems, like everywhere else. Yeah. Everywhere has its problems. Yeah. Yes, it does. Uh, man, if Rio was perfect, uh, it'd be hard to beat. Well, New York is perfect. perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get full. Well, New York and Hawaii, you'll have more than just Portland tips coming here soon. Then no, it's going to be just tips around the world. Who knows? From uh, yeah. from Kyle yeah. and Alexandre. Kyle and Alexandre. Yeah. Everybody, make sure go check out their page at Portland Tips. If you have any questions for them, if you're oh, yeah. coming to Portland or you're Send coming to move messages. here. Yeah. Yeah, direct message them or, or email, email them portlandtips yeah. at hotmail.com if you guys have questions they I'm sure are looking to, to help out everybody I still love awesome. that you guys got that yeah right. Right. Tips. I mean it's, it's like wow yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so definitely everybody go make sure to, to check them out and thank you guys so much for joining with us and thank we you. really enjoy hearing your stories and awesome. we can't wait to see what else comes from Portland Tips and we're yeah. gonna need to do something together maybe go yeah. out and she, you guys can show us some places yeah, in, you in guys Portland places in I've never been yeah. Yeah. Like when, I'm, when I'm watching the feed I'm like where the hell is this? We could my, oh, that looks maybe nice. Maybe do a fun little we video. We could collab together. on a day, on yeah. a day, maybe. Let's we could do a day. Yeah. yeah. You guys can take us hiking. I think that's one thing we're lacking on, definitely, right? Yeah. Because we yeah. do want to go hiking more often. We can show some things that we we find out about the city. That yeah. It's, yeah. It's yeah. Really we can take you guys on a hike, and then afterwards, you take us for a snack. Deal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Re energize. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to finish off our podcast, we always do uh, we we call it an oh boom. It's our it's our it's our slogan. It's our our thing. Um, so we'll count down to three, and then on three we'll just go oh boom. Bef yeah, yeah. Before that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for having us here. Right? Yeah. It's been a pleasure. It's been a great time uh, chatting here with you guys and sharing this. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Muito obrigada. Oh, muito obrigada. <laughs> não, volte outras vezes, né? É, é. Gotta come back again, é. you know. This thing's not going anywhere. Yeah, so, and I yeah. still have... I, I mean, we wrote a bunch of questions beforehand. I only got through half. So, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Part, it's funny how Let's that go goes by. Let's see what, yeah, what right? feedback we get. Part two. Exactly. We'll do some stuff yeah. together and we'll have a part two. We'll have a... Tem uma pergunta que você ia fazer que a resposta já estava guardada aí, ó. Agora ele, já era. É, mas ele ia perguntar do, do lugar que a gente gostava muito aqui de... Bom, yeah, really, we can do really quick. What's, the, what's, the, what's your favorite place you've been in Oregon? Correct. Yes. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Yeah. Crater Lake. Oh, yeah. Park. It's it's amazing. Amazing. I make terrible Oregonian. Never, <laughs> never been to Crater Lake. Oh, come on. I, 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 yeah, no, I, it's, it has mal, to be in summer, so... Foi mal, foi mal. Foi mal, foi mal. I also I also think it's... Yeah, it's probably... Yeah, the most... Beautiful the place, most beautiful, huh? the gorge is up there. Just the, the, the vibe up there, man. Yeah. It's something. During the summer, you can drive around the lake. In the water, the color of the water. Each place, each spot you, you stop by, you can take an amazing picture. You can just see a different thing and feel a different vibe. Perfect. So definitely check it out. I will. I will. Awesome. Awesome. So you guys ready? One, two, three.
three, alone. Thank you for listening to another episode of Griff Talk. We hope you enjoyed that interview with Alex and Carla. Make sure to go check out their content at Portland Tips on Instagram and theportlandtips.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media at Straight Griff. And check out our website for more cool content, straightgriff.com. Let us know if you'd like to be on in the next episode of Griff Talk. Make sure to follow us on iTunes and give us a review. It really helps us out. We'll see you next time.